Friday, 28 October 2016, marks the second session of this investigative hearing, and the stakeholders for the day includes NICOM Insurance, Niger Insurance, Harms Life Insurance, Zenit Insurance, Staco Insurance, Guinea Insurance, NEM Insurance, and Lasaco Assurance Limited. The invited companies will inform the committee about their brief history, achievements, constraints, mode of their operations in relation to government agencies they cover before commencement of the main business of the day. Therefore, members will raise questions and observations based on the stakeholders' earlier submissions to the committee. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me at this junction to wish the honorable members of this esteemed committee and the invited stakeholders successful deliberation on the matter under review. And I am optimistic that at the end of this exercise, the committee will make findings and recommendations that will not only uplift the insurance industry, but will equally bring sanity, property, transparency, and accountability in the expanding, in expanding taxpayers' money for the benefit of the nation. I will now call on the clerk to move forward and administer the appropriate oath to the invited stakeholders, please. I to have the opportunity to make it back home to their families. Um, and that's why normally we would have started by 11, which was what was in the what we advertised. Uh, but when we spoke on Monday, we thought we should start by 9. And we're looking about, that means we're starting at 10 now. So we thought that one hour, one and a half hour earlier, if we take that earlier, at least that will give us more opportunity to, to round up in time. Um, I will want us to be guided today. Um, the, the mandate of this other committee, like I said um, on Monday, is to establish that monies were paid to individuals. That is, the, that is what the mandate of this other committee is. Our job is to look at the premiums, what was sold, what was bought between the government agencies and the insurance companies and brokerage firms. Um, our job is to establish infractions, uh, where those are identified uh, within the past of this other committee is to forward such infractions to the necessary government agencies to help us get those that have the power of prosecution to help us investigate further and get more uh, clarifications on such infractions, um, submit such to, to this other committee, we review those, those submissions and then make our presentation and submissions to the House for further legislative action. Uh, what we've done since the last two and a half months, if I may, is to reach out to friends and, and highly dignified Nigerians who had been in the insurance industry and um, know what the, the games and the planes and the, the processes are to give us support and assist um, in um, shedding some light to these to these submissions. Like I was telling my, my clerk that when I sit down at times and look at the submissions, uh, if I may, I think the insurance industry is one of the most interesting sectors because um, I think this is the only sector I know that the same policy or cover can be interpreted in so many ways. And I think the, the, the word they use is standard industry practice or something. Uh, but I can tell you this, uh, without missing words, that this adult committee has its works well laid out for it. We have the resource and the capacity to engage some of the best hands for SEC auditors to go through these submissions, which we've done. And uh, I can tell you there's anything we put before you today is something we've thoroughly you know, gone through and um, have a clear conviction that there are infractions. So for us not to waste most of our time, what we'll do is that once we establish those your job is to give, shed more lights on, on, on those um, identified um, observations to assist us because we're going to look further and if we need to invite you to come back later to shed more lights, uh, the committee will do that. So what we're doing today is just for us to sit down together and review those submissions you made to us to be sure. There are some people we met on Monday and we identified some observations and told them to give us more um, 
to explain further. Um, it's unfortunate that all the companies we, we, we met on Monday, we told them to provide to this because of the issue of policy numbers, using for multiple covers, and that happened most on that motor and general equipment or something. And we told them to provide to us photocopies of those vehicles that they covered. I want to believe if you cover even if it's one five hundred vehicles and you use only one policy number, if that's a standard practice, at least these are individual vehicles. You have Toyota, you have age difference, you have engine capacity difference, you have which all those things reflect in in, in in the cover in the value of, of the vehicle. So we wanted them to provide them. As I speak to you, not one company has provided copies of those, which is, and we told them those documents have to get to us before today. Um, this other committee will invoke its full powers as for Monday morning to make sure that those that did not comply with that will have to hand those documents over to the necessary government agencies, not to this other committee. We will not, we will not accept it from them anymore. If they have anything to hide, I think those that can take it from them will take it from them. Uh, that said and done, a place I want us to uh, relax. We are your representatives. You elected us. You sent us here. And uh, I'm, I'm come, I know that you have the power to recall me if I step out of line. So I will already call this place, let me guide it. Um, these are the people that um, elected us, brought us here. Our job here is not to enchant anybody or embarrass anybody, but to make sure that every penny spent by government has value. There's value for more every penny spent by government, and that's what we want to make sure we do. Um, honorable colleagues, because of the time we had and the fact that most of our uh, companies we invited had not made it here, uh, we know people sleep a bit longer on Fridays, preparation for weekend. But at least let's uh, appreciate those that took the paint and trouble to be here before us this morning and invite. Let's take Nikon Insurance first. They say they are the biggest and they say they are the strongest. And they say they have the widest spread across the country. I think it would be better for them to be the first to put their feet in the water um, so that uh, others can take a um, clue from that. Nikon Insurance, please, could you take your seat, please? To, to meet Nikon and um we were able to put some questions across to Nikon, but at that sitting, uh, we couldn't um, go deep into their submissions because the document they provided well, was not notarized. And uh, we needed to have clarification to do that because the directive of the, of, of the, of the leadership of the house is to make sure that every document submitted to the Assault Committee is notarized and we needed to be sure that those documents um, will stand um, what they call integrity test if the need arises. And that is why we still believe in, we believe in, the, in the judiciary and that any stamp or any signature from, the, from, the, from that set arms of government is one that we hold here, here at the parliament. Um, Nigel, sir, are you with us, sir? At first, I think this is now. I appreciate the fact that we got the notarized copy of your submission.
give us reason for that stuff. The one I have here is only like the chart. Fire, the cover is fire. The yes. proportion is 1.71%. The policy number is there, which is under cover 1, cover 2, cover 3. You use the same policy number. So the short, not, you know, I don't think that's a typo. Deliberately, I think that it was omitted. Gross premium invoice, 1.5 million. Premium receipt, 1.5 million. Commission, 20%. And um, you didn't specify the, the amount, the, the value of that commission, you don't say 20%. And um, if I don't have any, any, any sum the short, how do I work out? How do I do what 20% means? And then the net premium, 1.2 million. Could you please share my life with any of my colleagues who please go to that? If there's any, is there any question that you can make and respond to? Thank you. Okay. Honorable Chairman, thank you very much. I also want to find out, this is a fact business. Is NICO the leading company? No. Who is the leading company? Well, in the 2013, it was Lasaco. Lasaco the leading company here. Yeah. Then, but then later on, uh, after the time this policy took place, Lasaco was the leading company. In 2013, yes. As at 20, there are three years, so a three year period, 2013, that's cover one, cover two was 2014, while cover three was 2015. Okay, last cycle was 2013, and then 2014 was the It was still last cycle, then 2015 it was NEM. It was NEM. 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 We can also go check the net to see what uh, came. Thank you, everybody. We need to put it on. We need to put it on. I enjoy that. Thank you. So, so, so that we can just have a. Uh, so I can have a local. Will you switch off your phone? Switch off your phone. He said that that group was a living company. He said that that group was a living company. The city of customs to come to this house to explain to the honorable committee why. The Nigerian custom will engage the services or appoint on licensed brokers and agents and pay out over a quarter of a billion and still does not see the reason morally or otherwise to make submission to this committee. I so Thank you. Could you please proceed? Well, we've talked about our relationship with Chrome and this has stated to uh, sorry, commission paid to them. Yes. Chrome. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Yes, which they deducted from source. Mm -hmm. It's 145 million. Because the premium is paid to them, and that's the normal practice in the industrial insurance industry. The, the broker either gets we either get the gross. Where we receive the gross, we pay out the premium. Ma, can we can we take it back again, please? Okay. Apart from Nigerian customs. Chrome did that is page four. The same Chrome did business in Federal Road Safety. In 2013, the same Chrome did business in, in Nigerian Customs. I thought we were looking at. No, we want to have Chrome, so we can go beyond Chrome. Everything about Chrome. This same company was engaged. So if this company has a magic wand in Nigerian Customs, this same company has a magic wand in 2013 in FRS, Federal Road Safety Commission, where this same company received 25 million in the first cover and received 80 million in the second, second cover. This same company called Chrome, Chrome, using for motor cover 100% and, and accident. Sir, sir, sorry to correct you, the sec on page four, is the second column is premium, not commission. You know, if you look at the last, on, on page four, if you look at page four, please, the last column there, your commission received by a broker, that is Chrome. Yes, the lead insurer, yes. 25 million and 80 million, please. Okay. That is where it is. Okay. At times, you know when we are, and then we added the total for, what we did, we added the total for customs and the total for Federal Road Safety, Federal Road Safety Commission, F FIRS. So Federal Road Safety, FRO, Federal Road Safety Commission, uh, they received a total of 105 million naira for two, two covers. So could, could you please add all together in those 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 reflect pages 
it does not that reflect is, on. That is what I'm telling you. Both the customs and the road safety. Is how much? 145. No, ma'am. Okay, sorry. 250 million, ma'am. Okay, 145 plus 105. Yeah. 250 million, quarter of a million. Quarter of a billion. The added this one to this. You had to get us. You had 80, 2 million, one this. You had 25, 12, 25. You had 25, 80. Uh, my name is Adekunle Abdukabri Akeladi, representing Badu South, Ipoke Afra constituency of Ogo State. Is the how we say it? <laughs> yes, please, by God's grace. Um, honestly, I must put it that with where we are today in this country, there is urgent need for us to restructure all the processes of governance. It's important. We can't come out of this recession, we can't go forward if we don't restructure the processes of governance. And that is one, one I think is one of the most important you know, uh, mandate of this other committee, to block leakages, to make sure that the way business has been done in the past where there are leakages and monies are being paid to people, uh, companies receive, receive government money not even knowing what the money is for. Uh, that has to stop and um, that's what we're looking at and we hope by God's grace by the time we finish this investigative hearing and make our submission and report to the House, um, Nigerians will be better off for it. No, ma. Um, we have about we invite. We had about six. What we've done is this: we've looked at the businesses they did with government, and because we don't want people to lose touch with what we're trying to establish, we'll invite five companies in a day, and then for this week we invited five on Monday, another five today, and then on Monday we're going to take five MDAs, and next week Friday we'll take another five MDAs, so that it doesn't take too much gap for us to compare notes with what they told us on Monday. If you told me on Monday that, take for example what just happened. Nigerian Customs, now, uh, Guinea now says Nigerian Customs engaged in an unlicensed brokerage firm that received quarter of a billion naira of Nigerian money, which is illegal, by law. When you're not licensed, you cannot receive our money. So the, there's a fraction of over quarter of a billion naira to one company, one brokerage firm. We need to bring Customs to tell us their side of the story. Guinea says they didn't engage them. Somebody they just told them this is the company to do business with. Let custom come and tell us who actually is there an individual, is it custom as an institution that appointed that? What is the what is the process of, of selection? Which is part of the, the prayers of this other committee. We need to look at the, the, the processes of selection. How do you pick these insurance and brokerage firms? You know, what is the what is the level of complicity in this return on premium? Money is being paid back to individuals. And we know they use companies like this to carry out such infractions. And that's what we want to establish. All right, so finally, um, the insurance companies are today, how would you assess their I must tell you, um, I am not, we're not happy. We're not impressed. It shows a lot of, you know, um, it shows something is deeply wrong with, 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 with industry. It's deeply wrong with industry what we've seen today and what we saw on Monday. And um, if this is how insurance business um, it, it should be, it will be carried out into the future, then a lot, you know, a lot needs to be done differently. It's, it's un, un, unacceptable what we're seeing, where companies actually receive money for covers. They don't even know what the cover is. They don't even know how much the, 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 the sum insured is. They don't even know. And it's like, it's like, our money is like people just, somebody sees that somewhere and just look at, this is one billion naira, and just look at the faces of some company and just share the money. You take 15%, 1%, 2%, and they just pay, pay to people because, you see, because there is no, nothing to cover. And we'll get there, this honorable committee will show you. Because there is nothing to cover. And for many years, they know there's nothing to cover. So to share the money is just a, a, a conduit line for them to receive the money. They share the money. You take your own. You, you, you go and you pay back to people. And that's why we're asking them to provide us with their bank statements. In their bank statement, we'll see the credits and we'll see the debits. We see who those money were paid to. We try to track, track those funds. Who were, those money were paid for? If that money is paid to an individual, we need to see the insurance company or broker trying to give us evidence. Yeah, for, for you to collect money from your insurance company, except you're saying you can, have, you can spend company money for your personal use. Then you can explain that to your, share, your shareholders, which we have this, the power to look into. But if you pay to an individual or, or a brood change, and say you're telling me that the person that did that cover is in America or London, 
Because we've seen in some bank statement where funds were transferred to Bureau the change. And we know that that means dollars were, dollars were made available somewhere. You cannot take a cover in Naira and now pay, pay, pay claim in, in, in US dollars or pounds. So we're looking at all these things and we tell you that uh, we've invited, you know, established these infractions. And I tell you at the end of the day, uh, we will make our submissions. We're talking to UFCC, we're talking to ICPC. Uh, ICPC will look at all the MDAs where we establish infractions, the weapons, extract the information we need for that of the insurance companies and brokerage firms and agents. Uh, we're talking to UFCC where we establish any, they will invite them and let them, you know, provide further information on, if, on whatever they've submitted to this other committee. You're welcome, madam. Thank you.